Good day class. This is another opportunity for us to move on on our unit six. So today we're talking about, we're gonna talk about midpoint. So we're gonna see the midpoint formula. But before then, you know, yesterday we talked about center of dilation on the coordinate plane. And that of yesterday was when the center of dilation is at the origin. But today we're gonna say when the center of dilation is shifted away from the origin. But before then, we're gonna also recall our knowledge of scale factor. As you can see here, let me put myself a bit above here. A, B is 1.5. O, B, 2. B, B prime, 2. And C, C prime, 5. B is 42. Measure of angle B is 42. And A prime is 51. So if you want to find the scale factor here, since our triangle A prime, B prime, C prime is the image of triangle ABC and it's quite bigger than ABC. So we're going to have an enlargement and the scale factor has to be bigger than one. Okay. So what we do here to get the scale factor, since we have more information on OB, B prime, we see OB is two. And then OB prime is just the sum of OB and BB prime. So it's going to be 2 plus 2, 4. So our scale factor is going to be OB prime over OB, which is 4 over 2, which gives us 2. So our scale factor here is 2. So A prime. So. So A prime here, A prime, B prime will just be, since our scale factor is two, so A prime, B prime will be just be twice AB. So A prime, B prime will be two times AB, which will be two times 1.5. And what is two times 1.5? Oh, two times, so that's gonna be five. So two times 1.5 is five. And the OC, OC, as you can see, OC here, OC, since OB is two, BB is, BB prime is two, so it means OC also have to be, has to be five. So OC and C, C prime are the same. So OC equals to C, C prime, which equals to five as well. Sorry, what is 2 times 1.5? 2 times 1.5 should be 3. I'm not lying. So I'm going to put 3 here. And then you see on that dilation, angles are congruent. So corresponding angles are congruent. So A prime is 51. A has to be 51. And then C will be just 180 minus the sum of the other two sides. So you're going to do 42 plus 51 to be 93. And then you do 180 minus 93. It gives you 87. So measure of C is 87 degrees as okay. The, so the scale factor is two. A prime, B prime is three. O C is five and the measure of C is 87. So under dilation angles are, corresponding angles are congruent, corresponding sides are proportional and uh, the shapes are what? Similar. So here today we're gonna to build, we're gonna do what we did yesterday. The center of dilation is here. We call it, call this, we call it C, zero, zero. And P has coordinate eight and six. So eight here and six here. We're gonna have P here sitting here, eight comma six. And then the scale factor is half. So it means we're going to have 8 and 6 as P. And the image of such under 
a dilation with scale factor half gonna give us eight times half into six times half. Eight times half is what? Four. Six times half is what? Three. So we're gonna look for three. We're gonna look for four and three somewhere around here. So as you can see, this is P prime. Four comma three. So P prime is like a, the center of this segment. C to P, okay? This is P prime, this is P. What about if the center of dilation is shifted? So what do we do here? If the center of dilation is shifted, the best thing to do here, when the center of dilation is not the origin, the best thing to do here, we have to treat that center of dilation as the origin. So we're gonna first of all plug the center of dilation on the triangle on the this graph here. Center of dilation three one. So three goes up like this, and one on y axis goes this way. So this one becomes our center of dilation. So you, so this is our new center here. You can write C or just write center. Then let's plug point P. P is already five originally on X and five on Y. So P is somewhere here. Five, five. And then we're going to pretend to get P on our new center of dilation, our new coordinates here. So we're going to write pretend here. So we're going to treat P, P five, uh, five, five, P with coordinate five, five, like uh, our new P here on this new coordinate here, P is two and its Y component is what? One, two, three, four. So it's gonna be two, four. Then we're gonna perform the dilation since the dilation is half. So it's as if right now our center of dilation is at a new it has a new origin. So we're gonna have two comma four for p, and then under the dilation with scale factor half, gonna give us an image that will be two times half comma four times half two times half is what one four times half is what two so we're gonna find p prime under new this new center so one here two here this is one this is two so this is gonna be our p prime So we also here say pretend. So this gives us one, two. This is the P prime that has been pretended. So I have to clear this. Then you can just try to locate your P with the real origin here. On the real origin here, my P is the x component is 4, my p prime, and the y component is 3. So it's going to be 4, 3. So as you can see here, from here to here, and here to here are the same. So p prime is the, is the center of uh, this center of dilation to p. Center of dilation three comma one. Okay, so this is how you construct your center of dilation. Uh, your yeah, when you how you construct your image when the center of dilation is shifted from the center of dilation uh, from the origin. Right now, these are other things. When the scale factor is half, we are finding a point called the midpoint. And then the midpoint of a segment will cut the segment into two congruent parts, okay? 
that is the midpoint will call the of a segment called the core segment in two equal parts okay we have the image and the center of dilation here so there's a formula for that so if the end point are x1 y1 and uh, x2 y2 their midpoint family formula said we just be we take the sum of x component i'm going to underline them take half of it so going to be x1 plus x2 over 2 and you also take the sum of y components y1 plus y2 over 2 so then this becomes the center you're looking for so under these problems here since your x1 y1 so i'm going to call this x1 x2 y1 y2 so x1 is 5 plus y2 12 pick half of it also y1 8 y2 negative 10 take half of it 5 plus 12 is 17 17 divided by 2 is what 8.5 8 plus minus 10 is minus 2 minus 2 divided by 2 is what minus 1 so this would be the midpoint on this other side too x1 y1 x2 y2 x1 plus y1 x x1 plus y uh, y x1 plus y x2 minus 3 plus minus 7 you take half of it other side too 7 plus 14 half of it negative 3 plus negative 7 is negative 10 negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5 and the 7 plus 14 is 21 21 divided by 2 is 10.5 so this is how we find midpoint okay so do have a wonderful day we're gonna have quiz 2 on monday and our test is gonna be on friday